Mark, we've been hearing that Bogut was considering a number of teams, the Rockets, the Celtics, and the Cavs, the Spurs. What led to him committing to Cleveland? Well, Diane, I think Cleveland was his first choice all along, but I also think he wanted to make sure that he was going to the right place. So he's talked here in the last 24 hours with the Spurs, the Rockets, the Celtics. Uh, you know, I know for a fact that he had a, a talk with Brad Stevens, the Celtics coach, that made an impression on him. But ultimately he decided to go with his gut and go with, his, go with kind of the, the place he had pinpointed from the start. You know, this is a big year for Andrew Bogut. It's a contract year. When he first got to Dallas, the hopes were that he and Dirk Nowitzki were going to mesh fantastically and he was going to put himself in line possibly for a contract extension during the season or at least set himself up very nicely for free agency this summer. By going to Cleveland, he knows he's going to have a long playoff run. He's going to play a lot of games in what's been an injury-filled season for him to this point. He gets now he, – he, he has pretty good confidence that he's going to get to go on the big stage and – maybe face the Warriors again in the finals. And, you know, he wants to show everybody that he's still a major factor defensively. So ultimately the Cavs, the Cavs are going to be tough to beat, even with other teams promising maybe more minutes or more money or whatever it is.